Hi, this is Will Harvey of Finale Inventory. I'm going to give a quick demonstration here of another custom report. A user came to me and said that he wanted to export all of his invoices to Excel in a big Excel document. We can do that with a custom report and it turns out that the custom report to do this is just an extension of a report that we made together in a previous video, so it's a natural new video to make. We usually start from the home page here, but in this case I'm going to start from somewhere different. I'm going to start from this spreadsheet that contains the columns or fields that this user wanted to have in his Excel document. He basically wanted to have the customer and order ID and all of the invoices for that order and then all of the product information, basically all of the rows for each invoice. So he wanted all the information there. We can create this report from a previous report that we made that was just an order summary. Here's the previous report that we made. and I'm going to print out an example. For an example customer, it listed all of the orders for which there were invoices, the order IDs, the total invoice, and then a grand total of the invoices below. So using this as a starting point, we can now create a much more detailed report that contains all of the information that this particular user wanted to see. The basic plan is we'll just customize this report. It starts out correct because if you can remember from previous videos, this report of the invoice summary was dealing with the data from the invoices. All we're going to have to do is add additional columns. The columns that you saw here, customer, order date, order ID, and subtotal, are a good place to start. Here's the customer, order date, order ID, and there's the subtotal. But comparing that to his Excel spreadsheet, we want a customer, then we want, we don't want order date at all, next thing we want is order ID, then we want invoice date, there's the invoice date there. Then we want invoice ID. Then we want product ID, description, and packing. I'm going to have to add one other column here, the order item index, in order to pull in the relevant product. Product ID. description, packing, quantity, and finally unit price. The summary is the same as before. I'll just add a little bit of formatting here to set the column widths to be the right column width, uh, about three quarters of an inch, a little bit less for most of the columns. We don't need to see the row number. Uh, and I'll set the indenting to present the information naturally. Okay. So having made those changes, we just added the columns that he needed. Let's print it again and see what it looks like. That's pretty close. If you look at the spreadsheet that he sent here, customer, order ID, invoice date, invoice ID, product ID, description, packing, quantity, unit price, and total price. Looks like we've got all the information. The report is also easy to read and we can export this to Excel uh, and get exactly what he wanted.